Hi everyone, I'm Jim Dempsey and today we're going to talk about the keys to successful fundraising events and the rationale and reasoning for why you should add events to your total development and fundraising plan. For those nonprofit leaders tracking with my videos and following the development model, which includes winning people to your cause, keeping them through cultivation, and lifting people to a higher level of involvement, you know events are a critical element in the development mix. They introduce people to your organization if they have little or no knowledge of you or your activities. Events inform and update current financial partners as to how their money is used. It is often viewed as a shareholders meeting for those investing in the organization. Through inspirational speakers, videos, stories of changed lives, people see the impact of their gifts and what the impact has made in the involvement in their organization. And any event is seen as an incredible opportunity to not only challenge people to give a first gift, continue a commitment, or even better, an opportunity to lift a partner to a greater level of involvement than the past year. Events stimulate growth in three important areas, public relations, recruitment, and fundraising. An event will improve your presence in the community, nation, or even the world and effectively work to be a key to your public relations strategy. Who doesn't want to expose more people to their, your cause, especially if you feel you're the best kept secret out there? Like you're accomplishing so much, but no one knows it. Oftentimes, as there are groups doing similar things that are getting all the attention, media buzz, positive word of mouth among donors and all the donations that they need. It can be frustrating, but don't ever fall into the trap of organizational comparison or donor envy. Besides, you don't want to ever be compared to other organizations. You want to find out what makes you different from others? Does, your, does Colgate Toothpaste strive to compete with Crest? Absolutely not. They emphasize in their advertising what makes them different. More whiteners, more brighteners. What makes them different? We need to find our uniqueness and distinctiveness and emphasize those. What makes us different from all the others? Events are used to recruit donors or financial partners to greater levels of involvement. Those donors who have been inspired by your event will also look for other ways to be involved beyond giving. I said recruit donors to higher levels of involvement. I didn't say recruit guests because a good event is not designed to recruit people at the event, but recruitment is best done afterwards, after someone has bought in with their pocketbook. We know that people who give are more motivated to find additional ways to be involved. It is a proven fact that people who give are most motivated and make the best volunteers. I've discussed in previous videos that the biblical verse, where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also, has proven to be a fact. 
much more than its inaccurate reverse counterpart where your heart is that's where your treasure will be also that's inaccurate unfortunately people make the mistake of starting by recruiting people to be volunteers and hope they will ultimately give but more times than not that never happens people just are not as committed as those who start as donors to an organization and of course fundraising should be an important part of any event only in rare circumstances should you do all the labor and expense of an event without presenting an opportunity to give that said too many organizations judge the success or failure of an event or strategy based on how much money comes in at the end of the evening it is critical that an event looks at all three elements when evaluating the results did our message get out to a lot of people who never knew us before did people who never gave before give this time did we lift people to higher levels of involvement than the years before did we move someone from a single gift of a hundred dollars to a hundred dollars a month or perhaps from a hundred to a thousand dollars and did we recruit people to other areas of involvement an event could simply break even financially income to expense wise but still be a tremendous success due to breakthroughs in the other areas events should never be evaluated after just one year no event should have a single go or no go plan the minimum should be at least three years before serious evaluation but the real keys to successful fundraising events are appreciation information inspiration and challenge we want to take this opportunity to thank people using every aspect of this event marketing programming and follow-up in marketing we emphasize the importance of finding out how your gifts were used and the results of the or outcome the lives changed that were achieved hard copy save the date postcards invitations final reminder postcards email marketing personal invitations all should have aspects of appreciation in them for their past involvement every element of the program should be bathed in thank you from the MC or the opening video to the organizational update to testimonies of changed lives to the main speaker or organizational impact all should include appreciation and without question the appeal should include appreciation people should be thanked for giving in the past and in advance of their next gift should the fact that in a normal event as much as 70 percent of the guests may be new to the organization change that appreciation aspect not in the least our society has been deficient in the way people are thanked in our effort to be high tech we've missed the benefits of high touch as a result we've lost the art of thanking people I learned early on from my mom the value in the art of thanking people my first recollection was my elementary school graduation my parents threw me a party with relatives 
and friends and I got a lot of cash and checks. I felt like a millionaire at 13. But then reality hit. My mom said I needed to sit down and write thank you notes. You would have thought she asked me to give up a kidney. I whined and I kicked and screamed, but I did it sitting down for hours until my hand ached. But those notes were so well received and it led to larger gifts at other times in my life. And don't you know, it was one of the most important lessons that I learned and I pass it on to my kids when they got older. And they loved it as much as I did. Not really, but they saw the value. We em employed that during college visits. Any person we met, in I encouraged my kids to write thank you notes to them. And even though I got a lot of, oh dad, they dutifully did it. My daughter saw one of the most visible results when acceptance day came for the College of William and Mary. My daughter opened up her acceptance email and immediately I said, Catherine, you need to call the Dean of Students, Dean of Admissions and thank them. After a little coercion, my daughter called and left a nice voicemail message. Six hours later, caller ID revealed an incoming call from College of William and Mary. I immediately answered the phone and the voice on the other line said, may I speak to Catherine Dempsey? I handed the phone over to our, my daughter, but listened intently to the conversation. The gist was, Catherine, this is normally a very difficult day for me because every parent who thought their son or daughter was the next Albert Einstein called to give me a piece of their mind after finding out we had to reject their child. But then in the midst of all the negative voicemails, I got one encouraging voicemail thanking me for our decision. Your call made my day. Thank you. Well, my daughter saw the value of thanking people and why I believe they offered her a larger financial aid package later in the year. Will we lose out by thanking those who have never given to our organization? Not at all. If we're human, we like to be thanked. This is also one of the reasons why we have made the decision not to sell tickets or tables at any events that I do when some organizations have done so. Now there are a lot of other reasons why we don't do that and I'll get into those in future videos. This is also one of the reasons why we have chosen a more upscale menu option rather than the standard chicken meal. We go with something more upscale to appreciate our partners. Another key to success is providing a program that is both informational and inspirational. It's a fact that your event will be attended by as many logical givers as emotional givers. We're familiar with the emotional givers, those people who hear an inspirational message or story and want to immediately give as a result. But what we aren't as familiar with are logical givers, those people who need the facts to justify the decision that they're about to make. They may ultimately give because something is tugging at their heartstrings, but they justify it with logic. 
They like to hear facts, figures, and accomplishments. Most couples have at least one of each personality in a marriage. That's why it's critical to include both elements in your program. Too much emotion and the logical giver will feel manipulated. Too many facts and figures and the emotional giver will get bored. Finding the balance is the key. The effective use of video, dramas, live testimonies, and stories of success are critical, but so is the use of charts and graphs to reflect goals, achievements, and results. And specifics will be very important in the last key element, the challenge. An event is never a complete success until people are moved to action. You must get people to the point where they say, so your successes are great, but how can we play a part? Glad you asked. It's been said that every organization has needs, but few have exciting opportunities. You need to share all that you're doing and then address where we're headed in the future. Your past successes only give you credibility. They know how to do things right. Without a plan or direction for the future, people won't give. And they have to see how their gift now will make a difference. Prospective and current donors need specifics. Your gift of $650 or $50 a month will enable us to do X, Y, and Z. Before you ask the question, Jim, are you asking for designated money? This answer is no. I'm not saying you have to designate. We're letting people know that their gift will enable us to do X, Y, Z. Things like this. That gives us the flexibility to use their money where the need is greatest, but direct it to things like this if possible. And people need to be challenged significantly. It's been rightly stated, small dreams don't inflame the hearts of men and women. Or put it another way, I heard Tony Campolo once say, your loose change won't change the world. We need a plan, vision, and dream, a stated goal that's small enough to make someone giving $50 feel like they're making a difference, but big enough that someone who wants to give $50,000 is making a difference as well. But in 36 years, I know that more often than not, I have under-challenged someone rather than over-challenging someone. You don't want to make that mistake. Err on over-challenging. Someone will always say, wow, that's a tad more than I expected. Would you be willing to accept XYZ amount? But oftentimes people will be flattered that we at least thought they had the capability to give as much as we asked. And you'll end up getting more than they expected to give otherwise. When you under challenge someone, they will respond quickly and you will know immediately that you didn't ask enough. And you don't want to get to the point where two weeks later you're kicking yourself because you didn't ask enough. Asking and asking significantly is critical. In conclusion, remember that public relations, recruitment, and fundraising are all important aspects of your event. And the key elements of any successful event are appreciation, information and inspiration, and challenge. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, 
hit the subscribe button to get in on the inside track to future videos and be sure to click the bell to be notified immediately of the next release and post a comment below if there were things that you especially liked. Thank you so much for taking your time and much success in your fundraising event.